What's up guys, welcome back to Talk Little channel. Today I will show you a new powerful build. This is my most favorite build. And in this build, we will focus on shoveling with the spear skill. Stand in the range of style with far and close combat. We only have the powerful time output and the chain so much defense. Therefore, we must focus more in evasion and dodge. Okay, first, let's talk about the weapon. As we use spear as a main weapon, uh, you can upgrade it to maximum as possible. Both spear attackment with you the mighty or the big surrounder. Its skill 34 cooldown as our priority start. And its passive buff you a powerful strength buff and stalker resistance when we use a strength or kill. And this buff has much more useful when enemy has ice spear attack on their body. So, with the first spear detonate, this book will more damage to the seven players that will follow it. Of course, this build will focus on raising strength and cooldown only. Next, about the edge, uh, operate it as far as you can for the strength stuff. And attack one, we use the fortified destroy knob. This a segment gives us the 34 cooldown stuff. Beside the 29 strength tag on stock we need for this build. It passive buff is not important because we rarely use the edge. About the runic, we can use the light runic wrap up the frost anson. It has very high damage and the frost stack. We build this run the style so this one of friendly runic we need for this build. It's very useful and effective for this build in order to break the fire or more or enemy bosses. Heavy runic attack we can use in the Red of Tamor or Fog of Fimble Winter or Invalid Anvil for the fast animation. The three we don't need it, just the light runic is enough. Sham with the Blade of Kale. Uh, we can upgrade it at max as we can, but not important too because it's still a real attack as we don't need it. Let's attack when we use Radiant Wooden Handle. It gives 29 strength and uh, 34 cooldown start in the most neat start of us. Let Runic like attack we can use Helios Flare, another Ranger Runic for this Ranger build. Effective for us just to stand in one play. And heavy runic, we can use the meteoric slam and massive AI runic and powerful too. As one again, just to break the eyes of more of enemy and bosses. Next, the spear runic, we can use a rain light runic, is a mountain blister. And rain heavy runic, is artillery of the ancient. This heavy runic is extremely suit with this javelin blade style. This runic leaves a spear on enemy body and we can detonate it later. About shield, uh, we can use a downlit shield, give 26 cooldown start, but this is not the best fit in this build. Because when we hold L2 to M and hold R1 to charge or simple hit R1 to throw and support or enemies like GNA or Berserker or Energy Social make the blue circle skill far away and we cannot run near them and double tap L1 to make the shield strike break that skill. So uh, to solve this situation we can use the onslaught shield. The shield can pass many animations and accept the running right away without the double L1. Make a shape in the blue circle skill situation effectively. Besides, uh, it will lock on incoming attack in the front when we are running. A very useful. Next, the seal attackment we use is the Row of Expedition. Just symbol for its cooldown start. And its passive kill is Dozen Emotion. Because we don't use the runic 
or relic too much. Spartan Ray, we use the rock. And if you want, we can use any type of Spartan Ray. We just use the Spartan Ray uh, for stopping enemy the shocking skill. Because sometimes this skill is not the blue such a skill. Uh, we cannot stop them by our shield. So we need to use the Spartan Ray to stop this skill. About the relic. Or use anything that you want or uh, at the ranger I recommend using the cloud up up the HP through 3 will first shot come from far away and give much more damage for our build another choice is the heal up Arabado when the enemy have a sonic debuff status uh, using this relic will give a big damage from rank 2 a good choice for our ranked build Next is a bar. We can go for the Hunter Armor set on 3 species. The Bell, the Golet, and the Paron on the Hunter set. To help this Armor set, we need to kill some side quest bosses in the Crystal area of Vanaheim. We need to kill 3 bosses. First is the Frozen Phantom, and uh, the second is the Soul Eater. At final, uh, we need to kill the Untamed Fury. Kill on 3 bot, kill the Hunter rank. Uh, needed material to grab the Hunter Amor Set. To upgrade the Amor Set to the max level, nice. Uh, we can finish the Wisdom Well in this area to collect enough material. It's very simple and very powerful in this mid-game stack though. This the Moset gives the best passive move for this build with the Golet and the Bell. Uh, the passive move gives 20 percent ranked damage and the power on gives an empower race move. When we hold the L2 in several seconds, this move gives much more damage for the run attack. And uh, the passive move is not the best spark for this build. The best part in this Moset is their spark. They can give much more cooldown and the strength start. The power on you 61 cooldown and 95 strength. The golet give 38 cooldown and 89 strength. And the bell give 38 cooldown and 26 strength and 64 defense. Uh, as I said before, we need to focus the cooldown and the strength. So this is the model best in this case. Next, we talk about the amulet. We use three sets of enchantment: the Midgar set, Asgard set, and the Abham set. The Midgar set gives the boss seal down my book for the rain stock by on the Kratos cooldown start. The first reason for our racing cooldown start. Asgard set gives the boss book for the triangle skill by on Kratos cooldown start. This is the second reason for our racing cooldown start. And final, the upham set gives a massive damage for the next attack after a perfect dodge. Also, this dog count for rank and attack, then we can make more damage. You can watch this clip. Upham trick move appear after each perfect dodge, gives a massive damage for the next attack. Next, about skill, we just forgot at the speed through. So the order act or black of cow three uh, skill is up to you. At the ranger, we need to raise the ranger skill. What damage come from the round is corn. Every time we throw a spear with the spear throw skill, we can leave a spear in pal enemy body. And total can leave a spear in enemy's body. And when we hold the R2 for making the spear real skill at some advanced chain, like after a bot chain skill, uh, this spear still leave a spear in enemy body too. And this skill gives much more damage than the normal throw. Okay, uh, about the mod of this skill, we can use on the damage because this spear will not need the stone anymore. And uh, when enemy have full a spear in their body, uh, we can tap the triangle button 
to make the round is called skill. For much more that might come from this skill, hold the triangle button longer. If you feel much more that might than the normal triangle button, normally tap the triangle just for skilling the small enemy. Another thing, when we detonate the spear, the spear attackment bust you up of course, then the Rapnis Con 2 and Rapnis Con 3 will follow. Enemy will be weaker in the same time the Rapnis Con 3. Enemy impaled with the player can help more detonation. And much more damage, of course. As a result, it will focus and throw a spear and detonate it. As some longer battle spear split will give more speed to speed when we throw continuously. It is so useful. The other skill is not important, it's up to you. So in combat, we only stay in arming stand with holding L2. We only hold the power and move and the ammo world is run and continuously after it as how. Below the M icon, we have a number impel clear line. As we see a 5 or 6 spear impel, you have a holding ground is called. Just simple like that. But you need time to similar with this style because you need to evasion and dog enemy attack when you are arming. And when we are arming, our looking angle will be reduced. Our advance is e, the fast, very fast, very fast stick back. As you can see in this video, we can dock to dock to very fast and effective. Besides, holding around this corner is so powerful when combined it with heavy runic artillery of the Anson. When facing boss, make a blue circle far away with just this symbol double tap L1. Our seal will show this hard to show action. In spite of aiming or docking another animation, this seal will pack all of it. This will suit every type of combat. The more enemy, the more we have fun. Small enemy is killed with one spear. The bigger, the more spears. But no one can touch us. With some strong monster like Wolver, Bersamara, or Radun, we just need one or two combo full ice spear detonate. They will die as fast as we need it. So, we can always keep a far distance step from enemy. And when we keep a distance, Freya or Astrea will round enemy attention for us. So we are safe all the time. With bosses, three, this build will destroy all of them. I will kill a King Horror about nearly four minutes. And a Valkyrie Queen GNA about three minutes. And this is a very powerful build. This build is not so hard. You just need time to get a quantity with it. But when you are used to it, we will fall in love with this build. Another advantage of this build is, uh, when you hold it around this cone, can break enemy charge skill. A symbol to the spear at the source of the skill, as this video. Very useful to, uh, in stopping this skill. So, with the eye and the blame armor, we can use the runic of the axe or the blade to break it. And of course, if you don't want, we can just simple through the spear as normal. Break the eye and the blame or more is not a problem. In the meantime, we still have more spear to destroy. Very powerful. Okay, that's it on my selling today about my favorite build. If you find it useful, Leave like, subscribe, and put a comment below. You can receive many more hosted and useful guys in the hosted game in the future. Thank you, goodbye, and see you next time.